Now to start off with our little coil pot, we're gonna need some Play-Doh. You can use as many different colors as you want to. I'm gonna start off with a little piece of Play-Doh like this. And the first thing I wanna do is roll it into a ball. Now, after I rolled into the ball, I'm just going to squish it down. So I'm just going to press it down and just kind of flatten it out best I can. So it's just going to be kind of like a cookie. You don't want it flat like paper. You just want it kind of nice and round. Next, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to roll it right across the edge just to make a little bit of a flatter side on here. Now, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna put it to the side and I want to make some coils. Now, to make a coil, it's really easy. I'm just going to take a little bit of Play-Doh and I'm going to kind of squish it up into like a wrinkly snake. So I'm just gonna move it around in my hands till I get a nice little wrinkly snake. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to push down on the Play-Doh and I'm just going to roll it out. And as I roll it out, I'm gonna push down and you can see that this little kind of wrinkly snake that I made, it starts to get really smooth and it starts to get a lot longer. So I'm just gonna roll it out like this. Now you want it to be kind of like the size of a, or the width of a pencil. You don't want it to be skinny like spaghetti. Then you just take this and you just start to wrap it right around the bottom of your little base. And you're just going to repeat this. You can do this with lots of different colors and just kind of have some fun with this. You can always put like some different uh, patterns and stuff in there, but go ahead and just start kind of like rolling out a bunch of coils with different colors. Now, after I put a few coils on there, I'm going to go ahead and you can kind of switch this up. I'm gonna start kind of redoing the same pattern just to make it a little bit taller. Now, when you're all done with this, you'll have a nice tall little coil pot with lots of different colors on here. Now, you can always go and add extra details on here. You can try doing different things, or you can just leave it just like this. If you do all the same color, you can always go and kind of smooth these out a little better and kind of pinch in the inside to kind of really make them uh, stand out and really stick together. But there you go. There is your coil pot. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed.